His Holiness Kya Jisongam Ji was not an ordinary person, was not an ordinary monk, and was not regarded as an ordinary monk, not only by me, but by the monks of Ganden, Sarah Jibun. Sarum Ji's erudite understanding into the sutras and tantras was renowned in Ganden Sera Dribo. He was famous in Tibet, famous in his region of Kham, famous in Ganden, and everyone in Ganden respected Saramji deeply and was their teacher. When Saramji gave teachings in Ganden, then people from Dribo, monks from Dribo, scholars, geshis, abbots from Dribo, and Sarah would flock to Ganden to receive teachings. Saramji was not an ordinary person, was not an ordinary monk, was not an ordinary scholar. He was one of the most highly respected Gelugpa teachers of the last century. It is impossible that a great master like Kepji Saramji can be practicing a negative being that is destructive and harmful and hateful and damaging and wishes to threaten the Dalai Lama's life. How can a master of Kebja Saramji's caliber, a master of Sutra and Tantra, and an abbot of Ganden Shate in Tibet, close to the Dalai Lama to the end of his life, someone who marked on the calendar the day he would die, the day he would be cremated, and gave indications of his future rebirth. This master even had control over when he will die, where he will take rebirth, and wrote it down in his calendar. We can see that very clearly in his biography. I saw it. Is it possible that Saramji is so incredibly dull, wrong, unintelligent, to not see for 81 years? Okay, let's just say maybe... 50 or 60 years of his life where he practiced or shouldn't, he cannot have any indication Dorje Shukden is negative. And that only in 1996 we hear Dorje Shukden is negative, and Saramji is wrong, Trijaramji is wrong, and all our lineage gurus are wrong. Is that logically possible? <laughs> 